Hey guys, welcome back to Killing Flamingo. So in this video, we're gonna look at something that I was super excited for, so I had to make a video about. So that's uh, WSL support on Visual Studio. So basically, you should know by now, uh, you can run Linux on Windows uh, and using WSL, and you can run your favorite distro, Ubuntu, Kali, and way too many more. And in here, you can see it like I'm running it on terminal, and I'm just running a regular Ubuntu, in the machine. But the cool thing is that now with Visual Studio 16.9, so you have to get the latest of, at the time of this video, uh, you can now seamlessly run your application that you have been developing in Windows, just run it in the Linux system so you can like find any bugs or something. If you're gonna deploy, for example, a web application into a, a Linux machine in Azure or something, you can kind of test it to make sure that everything works as planned. And in this case, we're just going to do a console app just because it's faster and everything. The only thing is, uh, this took me a while to find. So uh, telling you guys so you don't have to, uh, you have to go to the video, Visual Studio installer and make sure that down here on the right, you have clicked .NET Core Debugging with WSL2. And that's important. You have to have WSL2. There is tutorials on how to upgrade if you already have WSL. And if you don't, when you install it, you can just install the, to the second version. So that you have to click here and then install while downloading or whatever and just like install it. So with that being said, once you do all that, you'll have two options. So and this one is kind of confusing because I called the project WSL demo. And then the other option is called WSL. You can technically change them here. So if you go to your properties and launch settings, you can change the name to, to whatever you want. You can call this Windows and then the other one, WSL2. So then it's a little less confusing. So what I've done in this uh, program, I'm just getting the OS version and we're just gonna sh see it. And it's just a hell world program, nothing special. It's just to see that you can run it. And I'll talk about a little bit of the limitations I've found so far. So first we're gonna run it in Windows and we're gonna debug it. And if we see here, Microsoft Windows OS and cool, that works. So now we're gonna switch this to WSL and we're gonna run it. And now we can see it's running on, on the Linux version of WSL. So that's easy, easy to use. Just a few limitations I have found. I have not been able to pass parameters to a, a console app. So if usually you have to pass like a extra parameter or something, I have not been able to do it. If you know how to do it, please tell me down below in the comments so other people can do use it as well. And the other one that I found that was, I was using uh, the MSOL authentication and when it tries to pop open a browser window, it cannot do it through WSL. So I get an error there. So that's another limitation that I found. So for now I'm still using my Linux machine for debugging stuff that I have authentication or open a browser or something with it. But other than that, it's a great tool to use and hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.